In this video, we'll find the number of protons and electrons for K+. This is the potassium ion. When we look on the periodic table, we find potassium here. This 19, it's the atomic number. So the atomic number for potassium, that's 19. And the atomic number is equal to the number of protons. So we can just write 19 protons in here as well. When we're dealing with ions in the neutral element, the only thing that's different is gonna be the electrons. Everything else is the same. So the atomic number for K and for K plus is gonna be 19. That means the number of protons, 19. So this information will be the same. It's the electrons that are gonna be different for ions. So when we have a neutral element, the number of protons and electron is gonna be the same. For potassium, there's nothing written after it. There's not a negative or a positive sign. So we know this is neutral. And the number of protons is gonna equal the number of electrons, 19 protons, 19 electrons. For K+, plus, we have this positive. It's a 1+. plus. The 1's not written, but we consider this to be a 1+. plus. If you lose electrons, electrons are negative. So when you lose an electron, that negative charge, when you lose it, you become positive. So we've just lost one electron here. So instead of 19, we have 18 for the number of electrons for K+. Plus. It's important to understand that when an atom loses an electron, a negative charge, it becomes positive. The atom that receives that electron, it gets the negative charge, it becomes a negative ion. If you need help finding the number of neutrons for the different isotopes of potassium, there's a link in the description on how to do that. This is Dr. B with the protons and electrons for K+, the potassium ion. Thanks for watching.